Have you ever wondered what the difference is, is between all the different forms of ceramides like MP, EOP, AP, NS? Well, let me tell you. In a nutshell, these letters describe the actual structure of the ceramide. The first letter, N, A, or E, describes the type of fatty acid component of a ceramide. You can very generally classify their role in your skin barrier based on this first letter. First up are the N-type ceramides. The N stands for non-hydroxy fatty acid, and these are by far the most abundant in skin. They're often directly linked to moisturization. And this is why ceramide MP is probably the most prevalent ingredient in skincare. Next up, we have the A type ceramides. The A here stands for alpha hydroxy fatty acid. And because of the extra hydroxy group, it's associated with stabilizing the general cohesiveness of your lipid barrier through hydrogen bonding. The A types are also associated with maintaining your skin's acid mantle. Last but not least, we have the E type ceramides. The E here stands for esterified omega hydroxy acid. Now, these are usually chunkier molecules. You see that extra hairpin structure. Therefore, they're linked with anchoring your lipid matrix together. Think extra lipid structure help. Beyond this general grouping of ceramides, all in all, there are about a dozen different types of ceramides found in skin. Each has their purpose and are integral to your skin's inherent lipid matrix. You might be wondering what this all means for ceramides found in your skincare product, but I'll save that conversation for the next video. Let us know your favorite ceramide moisturizers below.